Ah. Yo guys, your boy GC, thank you for watching. Like you could see, I improved camera quality. But one thing is for sure, we're gonna continue with the SFM uh, talks because it's necessary. A lot of guys getting in a lot of problems. I got in a lot of problems. And not only because of money and not only because society and the pressure of work and all bullshit, but just because of women, man. It's not that, they, that they're looking for problems, but if you don't watch yourself, if you think, if you can't take the right steps, if you're not in the right mindset, if you're not set of the right goals you're gonna get in some serious problems and you might never ever get out and I was lucky I got out but not because of the advice of women help me but their help obviously helps you know women can help you they can aid you they can take care of you they can give you shelter they can suck your dick they can do a lot of cr stuff that you like but you shouldn't take their advice all the time. I mean, you got your man stuff going on. You got your man world going on. And those things need to be managed by a man. And you need to be confident to stick to the plan and keep proceeding the steps that are necessary for you to take. There's two different, they're different things. It's not one and the same thing. A lot of guys, they just put in their lives in the woman's lives and they combine it and it becomes like a male, female stuff. You need to keep to your male stuff. What I see around me now is a lot of friends. They have sacrificed their male authenticity and it becomes like some kind of female male blend and they're getting unhappy they're coming with to me with a, with a lot of issues wanting to end their relationship and i'm thinking like you know these women don't even know what kind of damage they are creating ending relationships and stuff because they are the ones who want to have long-term relationships so they need to learn to become patient i mean it's not just men having to work on their personal development and growth women should do the same and if they're not doing it i mean yeah that's their issue and the, the gap will become bigger and you might have another girlfriend or things might might change but it's not gonna stick with the same you who you are today although that that's not how it is for me I'm not planning to stay the same person as I am today I was not planning to stay the same person when I was 20 years back 10 years back I'm planning to grow and evolve and put myself to the test and keep improving what I'm doing and so should you should keep doing that and improve the ways um, in short for today because that's one thing that I have noticed around me because you can also ask me questions send me text or whatever add stuff to and uh, definitely uh, I will answer them and will, they will be of service for the next episode. Um, one of the things that I've noticed uh, which, which came to me a lot lately because of my friends and clients I had which I coach, I'm not doing the coaching like as a company anymore but I will do it on the YouTube channel um, because I'm making this switch to building this app and setting up this private man thing uh, worldwide so I've, it's a different angle but uh, I like to give my advice and in, 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 with the experience I have to all the guys out there so uh, please tune in and say what you want to say share what you want to share ask what you want to ask but to all the guys lately um, there's an important message what I notice is that I think that what they all have in common is they just give in too much into female emotions, into their worries, into their, you know, the, 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 how they feel. And, you know, I understand, man, if women, you know, if they feel like they want to, they, they feel bad, you feel bad, you know. If they feel like I want to see you, you feel like guilt, like I want to see you too, you know, I'm thinking about you or... Or they would say, oh, you're not making me happy. I don't, I want you to give me a gift or you never give me a gift, the complaining and everything. And it starts like, it starts like eating in your brain. Like I'm not good enough. I might not, um, you know, I'm not the right guy for her. She might leave me. She might end up with another guy. Fuck that shit. End up with another guy. I'm the guy who I am and there's no book written for it. How I should treat you. You should do what it is. And we can change. We can work towards stuff. But I have to be, I have to stay independent. I have to keep working on my goals. I have to accomplish the things that are important to me. That's what gets me ahead. That's what gets me ahead. You know, we all know, guys, we all know that when we started to chase pussy when we were young and the first time we had sex, it was all big in our mind and we were willing to sacrifice a lot for this woman. We are doing to, to chase everything else. And what did they do with it? What did they do with it? They always want more. They expect more. It's all about them. But what are, what are they actually adding up in your life? You know, how long are you going to be busy with their lives? How long are you going to keep spending how they want to live? How long are you time you're going to keep spending because you're going to be with a woman? Then you're better off alone, man. 
and I and I'm always considering it in all my relationships. I've always considered it. Beside that, like you know, if your emotions gonna give me too much headaches, it's over. And that's what I tell them. Like it's not gonna dominate my life. It's not gonna dictate how I feel today. It's not gonna change my ways. It's not gonna change my goals. It's not gonna change my agenda. Like so. Guys, please do, man. All the guys, my friends, you know, hope you see this recording. Um, do not give in too much in their emotions. It's their way. They need to learn to deal with their emotions. They need to learn with the person you are. They need to learn. I mean, you're not using violence. You're not oppressing them. You're not hitting them. You're not being bad to them, man. It's just expectations, their anxieties about the future. Man, it's it's something that they need to deal with in life. We men have to deal with the same issues. We are scared as well. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. Nobody knows. We all have to secure it on our own. We all have to learn how to create security in life. It's not it, you cannot put it in somebody else's it's 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 commitment like you have to to take care of that for me because I'm your girlfriend. No, it's not. That's not life. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna have a life full of worries. You're gonna have a life full of sorrows and complain, complaints, and end up with kids. You cannot even tell the truth because your girlfriend is just telling them what she wants to tell them about you, and you're gonna be blamed for a lot of stuff which you would never intentionally do. So things could get messed up pretty ugly. And I don't wish that to any guy out there, man. There's too much guys already being manipulated and destroyed by this money oppression and by the elite and the rich. So it's already hard for men to, to really accomplish something in life, man. They're really oppressed. And I mean, all the pretty women get favored by the rich guys. I mean, I know the deal, man. There's not a lot of chances for guys. So you really have to stick to the plan, your plan, create a plan, create this focus and don't get this woman add up and 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 this and 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 make it even worse man they this is the thing they should add up to the sum for you to become somebody to create something to to expand your horizons man that's what i wanted to say um god bless i hope you all keep safe and um watching out for you guys to give me some input for the next episode take care guys see ya